Assalamu alaikum students and good morning. You are watching this video as in online English class, grade 7th, Dari Arkham School, Mingabara campus. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, today our topic is Adventures of Isabel. Uh, it is a poem written by Ogden Nash who was an American poet. Look at the topic adventures. Adventure means um, it can be a daring or exciting experience that one uh, you know faces. Uh, this poem tells about uh, the story of a little girl Isabel who had lots of challenges to overcome. Uh, and it basically uh, reflects the courage of a little girl no matter what hurdles came her way she faced them very bravely and in this poem there is a very good message for us okay let's read the poem and you will come to know how isabel faced so many challenges isabel met an enormous bear isabel isabel didn't care the bear was hungry, the bear was ravenous, the bear's big mouth was cruel and cavernous. The bear said, Isabel, glad to meet you. How do Isabel now? I'll eat you. Isabel, Isabel didn't worry. Isabel didn't scream or scurry. She washed her hands and she straightened her hair up. Then Isabel quietly ate the bear up. In these lines, the poet talks about the first adventure of Isabel. Uh, he says that there was a big bear who was starving, who was very hungry. Ravenous means, ravenous means very hungry, extremely hungry or starving. That bear, when he saw the um, saw Isabel, he felt very glad and he was trying to frighten her and was ready to eat her up. But Isabel, she remained calm or unruffled and instead of crying or becoming afraid, she killed and ate up the animal. Once in a night as black as pitch, uh, black as pitch means as black as pitch means it was totally dark, Isabel met a wicked old witch. The witch's face was cross and wrinkled, the witch's gums with teeth were sprinkled. Ho ho, Isabel, the old witch crowd. I'll turn you into an ugly toad. toad. Isabel, Isabel didn't worry. Isabel didn't scream or scurry. She showed no rage and she showed no rancor. But she turned the witch into milk and drank her. So after the first experience with the bear, Isabel came in contact with an ugly witch who was determined to curse and turn her into a toad. But once more, she remained calm and she did not scream or she did not run. She simply squeezed the witch, turned her into milk liquid and drank everything. Isabel met a hideous giant. Isabel continued self-reliant. The giant was hairy. The giant was horrid. He had one eye in the middle of his forehead. Good morning, Isabel, the giant said. I'll grind your bones to make my bread. Isabel, Isabel didn't worry. Isabel didn't scream or scurry. She nibbled the zwie back that she always fed off. And when it was gone, she cut the giant's head off. Okay, uh, so shortly after the second adventure, she met with a horrible looking giant with one eye. The giant said he'll use her for he will use uh, Isabel for dinner, 
but Isabel refused to be moved. She simply beheaded the giant and continued her adventure. Again, she did not move. She just cut the uh, cut the giant's head off and then moves further and meets the uh, meets with the third experience or adventure. Isabel met a troublesome doctor. He punched and he poked till he really really shocked her. The doctor's talk was of cuffs and chills, and the doctor's satchel bulged with pills. Doctor said unto Isabel, "Swallow this; it will make you well." Isabel, Isabel didn't worry. Isabel didn't scream or scurry. She took those pills from the pill concoctor, and Isabel calmly cured the doctor. So finally, she meets a doctor who seemed to be troubled. He tried all his treatments and later even offered her some pills. but despite seeing all the medications and treatments isabel did not get scared or scream instead she stood cool and treated the doctor by her attitude so these are the adventures that she met with and how she coped up with these adventures so this is a poem that shows how attitude of a person can enable him or her to come off any situation that he might be put in even if we have to travel through the toughest time if uh, we have an attitude to overcome we would we will do it no matter what obstacles we may face and however we may be feared we can always overcome all the adventures or the challenges bismillahir rahmanir rahim uh, today a topic is adventures of isabel Uh, it is a poem written by Ogden Nash who was an American poet look at the topic adventures adventure means um, it can be a daring or exciting experience that one uh, you know faces uh, this poem tells about uh, the story of a little girl isabel who had lots of challenges to overcome Uh, and it basically uh, reflects the courage of a little girl no matter what hurdles came her way she faced them very bravely and in this poem there is a very good message for us okay let's read the poem and you will come to know how isabel faced so many challenges isabel met an enormous bear isabel isabel didn't care The bear was hungry the bear was ravenous the bear's big mouth was cruel and cavernous the bear said isabel glad to meet you how do isabel now i'll eat you isabel isabel didn't worry isabel didn't scream or scurry she washed her hands and she straightened her hair up then isabel quietly ate the bear up in these lines the poet talks about the first adventure of isabel and he says that there was a big bear who was starving who was very hungry ravenous means ravenous means very hungry extremely hungry or starving that bear when he saw the um, saw isabel he felt very glad and he was trying to frighten her and was ready to eat her up but isabel she remained calm or unruffled and instead of crying or becoming afraid she killed and ate up the animal once in a night as black as pitch uh, black as pitch mean as black as pitch means it was totally dark isabel met a wicked old witch the witch's face was cross and wrinkled the witch's gums with teeth were sprinkled ho ho isabel the old witch crowd I'll turn you into an ugly toad. Toad, Isabel. Isabel didn't worry. Isabel didn't scream or scurry. She showed no rage and she showed no rancor, but she turned the witch into milk and drank her. So after the first experience with the bear, Isabel came in contact with an ugly witch who was determined to curse and turn her into a toad. but once more she remained calm and she did not scream or she did not run she simply squeezed the witch turned her into milk liquid and drank everything isabel met a hideous giant isabel continued self-reliant the giant was hairy the giant was horrid 
he had one eye in the middle of his forehead good morning isabel the giant said i'll grind your bones to make my bread isabel isabel didn't worry isabel didn't scream or scurry she nibbled the zwie back that she always fed off and when it was gone she cut the giant's head off okay uh, so shortly after the second adventure she met with a horrible looking giant with one eye the giant said he will use her for he will use uh, isabel for dinner but isabel refused to be moved she simply beheaded the giant and continued her adventure again she did not move she just cut the uh, cut the giant's head off and then moves further and meets the uh, meets with the third experience or adventure isabel met a troublesome doctor he punched and he poked till he really really shocked her doctor's talk was of cuffs and chills and the doctor's satchel bulged with pills doctor said unto isabel swallow this it will make you well isabel isabel didn't worry Isabel didn't scream or scurry. She took those pills from the pill concoctor, and Isabel calmly cured the doctor. So finally, she meets a doctor who seemed to be troubled. He tried all his treatments and later even offered her some pills. But despite seeing all the medications and treatments, Isabel did not get scared or scream. Instead, she stood cool and treated the doctor by her attitude. So these are the adventures that she met with, and how she coped up with these adventures. So this is a poem that shows how attitude of a person can enable him or her to come off any situation that he might be put in. even if we have to travel through the toughest time if uh, we have an attitude to overcome we would we will do it no matter what obstacles we may face and however we may be feared we can always overcome all the adventures or the challenges